welcome back to my channel and welcome to another cleaning motivation video. Today feels like a little bit of a throwback. Whenever I first started my channel, I would do a lot of my cleaning motivation videos kind of checklist style where I would show you my list and then go through and check each thing off the list as I got it accomplished. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and do that again and um, I know it's a one way that keeps me really on track and motivated and helps me to not get distracted into other tasks around my house as I'm trying to get things done. Before we dive in and get started, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my list and everything that I have on it. All right, so I love spiral bound notebooks. I can turn it over and easily write out my list. So what I have for today is I'm going to clean out the refrigerator, clean out the freezer, tidy and clean my desk area. It's really gotten bad. Organize and wipe out the pantry, mop the kitchen, wipe down the kitchen cabinets, fold some laundry, and then clean my daughter's bathroom. There was a little accident in there, and I kind of cleaned things up when it happened, but I just want to go over it and get it good and cleaned up. So that's everything I have on my list for today. If you are cleaning with me, take a minute, pause this video, go write out your to-do list, and we can tackle these things together. If you guys watch my channel often, then you know I'm really big on health and just using things that are healthier options around my home, whether it's in cooking or cleaning or sanitizing, that sort of thing. And I'm also very big on making sure that I'm not compromising my immune system, especially during the time that we're in right now and also ways that I can build up my immune system. Today's video is sponsored by Pacos and they reached out to me and brought me a new ingredient that I had never heard of and they put it into a drink that is absolutely delicious and so whenever they asked me would you like to try it out tell us what you think I said absolutely. Their drink is called Five and it's made with a berry called Shasandra. Shasandra is known as the five flavor berry that's why their drink is called five and it basically has a little bit of a spicy sweet sour salty bitter taste to it and um, I actually think that it's really good especially over ice it's something that is refreshing and you know you're getting a huge amount of benefits whenever you're drinking it. A few of the benefits besides boosting your immune system is it helps your energy and it also aids in liver function. During this time, they have done their very best to make their products affordable and easy to access online. So the flavors that they sent me are Shazandra and Watermelon, Pure Shazandra, Shazandra and Mango, and Shazandra and Pineapple. A few other things about this drink is it's soy-free, non-GMO, gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, no preservatives, no artificial color, no artificial flavor, and no artificial sweeteners. I will go ahead and leave the link below where you guys can get 50% off five of these drinks as well as free shipping. I highly recommend it as a great immune booster and let's go ahead and dig right into this list. Here is where the extreme cleaning motivation comes in. My refrigerator was so bad, so, so bad. It hasn't been this bad in a long time for sure. So if you have a nasty refrigerator right now, I hope that this gives you a ton of motivation. I mixed together some distilled vinegar and some distilled water. The main reason for using distilled water is you don't want any bacteria to grow inside of your cleaner. And then I just added a few drops of my favorite essential oil. So much better, oh yeah Before you I was just a shell 
Along with my homemade antibacterial spray, I of course was using my Norwex claws that removed 99% of bacteria and my refrigerator smelled so much better after doing all of this, of course. I'll leave a link below for my refrigerator organization bins. I got a kit from Amazon and it was relatively inexpensive to be able to buy it all in one kit versus purchasing each of them individually. Um, the ones with the handles are actually from Walmart. I haven't been able to find a link for them. I really like those as well. But like I said, I'll leave that initial kit I got in the description. I will also leave the lighting that's under my cabinets here linked below because I have gotten so many requests for that link lately and I forget to link it a lot. So if you're one of those that has asked me for that link, I will be sure and do that. the other half of the monstrous job <laughs> oh my goodness my freezer was so bad I cannot remember the last time I cleaned my freezer out and it's one of those things that you just push off and push off and push off but it was getting so bad and you guys know I do a lot of like meal prep for the freezer and so it just all gets stashed in there and I needed to go through everything so basically all I did as far as cleaning it was I used a wet enviro cloth and just wiped the whole thing out as quickly as I could. This process I did as fast as I possibly could just because of everything being frozen and not wanting things to thaw out.
My desk area is another place in our house that ends up being a catch-all for everything. Of course, since I work from home and um, I'm always on my computer, this area just ends up getting piled up and I just need to go through it every once in a while. So that is why it ended up on my list this day. I didn't do my list in the order that I wrote it in. So next I moved to my daughter's bathroom or the bathroom that they use and just got everything cleaned up and used one of my toilet bombs in the toilet. As usual, I will link the video below where I made those and tell you guys how to make them. Um, but other than that, I just kind of wiped everything down and just got it all tidied up. When I'm with you. Wiping out my pantry is something that I do not do very often. It's just I don't really feel like doing it, to be quite honest, <laughs> and I forget to do it. But um, it is something that needs to be done just because crumbs and marks get on the shelves and stuff like that. So I just went ahead and quickly did that. I also went through some of the bins and kind of got stuff sorted out. There is like a lot of bags, you know how it goes. They get put back and they're empty. So there was just stuff I needed to throw away and go through. I want to be silly, baby, dance night away. I'll kick my shoes up if I want. Let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to life than being pretty. Honey, let's just face it. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. Okay, so real life kicked in and I didn't get my list completely done in one day. This is the next day and I was just getting uh, the laundry rolling and making sure that I got at least my one load a day folded and then I finished up the other things on my list. Does anyone else do this when they hang up clothes? Just bring all the hangers out and fold them over as you're putting them on the hangers. I learned this trick a long time ago and it saves me so much time. Someone who could like the way 
when you came to me. Next, I ran a sink of hot water and I just added in some dish soap and a little bit of one of my favorite essential oils. And then I grabbed an Enviro cloth and wiped down my cabinets. They were in pretty bad shape and with having lighter cabinets and little ones, it just means that this needs to be part of my routine and cleaning things up. And yes, it's not just little ones because my husband and I both definitely contribute to making the cabinets dirty. <laughs> How has everyone been doing out there? I know 2020 has been one insane and crazy year and it's really brought things into perspective for me, just making sure that I'm putting my time where it counts, making my time for my family and just making sure that I'm not wasting time on social media too much all of those things and I know I've been getting some messages. I haven't been quite as active as I normally am on Instagram lately and that is the reason why I just have been reevaluating where my time is going and it's been so good and so healthy for me and definitely a well needed break. I hope this video inspired you. Please leave me a comment below. I love to hear from you guys. And of course, if you're new here, I would love it if you subscribed and joined my channel. I do lots of motivating videos and home decor, DIY, mommyhood, cooking, all of those things. So if you're new, I'd love it if you stuck around. Also, don't forget to give me a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next video.